Hey, 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 Tony Butter Bing here, Horse Racing Nation. How you doing? Hey, listen, before we begin today, happy Veterans Day weekend, everybody, especially to our veterans, both past and present. We thank you and your families for your service. Now, the reason you clicked on this link, how do you get over a Breeders' Cup betting hangover? Why, more betting, of course. My goodness, going to travel a little further south than I usually do. Laurel Park, late pick five. Why, you might ask, Bing? Low takeout, 12%. More money in our pocket if we hit it. Stakes racing action. Big, full feels. Evenly matched feels. Potential for double-digit winners there, which means I'm thinking the late pick five is going to pay 10 grand or more. Let's jump right into it. I'm going to talk about the first leg and the last leg and give you my ticket. First leg, safely kept $100,000. Seven furlongs for three-year-old fillies. Very evenly matched field. In seven furlong races, very tricky distance. Two pretty straightforward um, angles I look at. One, has the horse been successful at the distance? We have several that fit the bill in here. Number two, Moonlit Song. Three for three at the distance. Most of the winning at Charlestown. Going to be longer odds for that. Speed figures don't really match up, but she could get loose. In case she doesn't, number nine, just be kind. She's three or four in the money in here. Ken Rate, if there's a speed duel, boom, she's closing into it. Number 10, Miss Locust Point. Both one at the distance and at Laurel. Try to grade two at Gulfstream East, I guess, if it's not West. Uh, but anyway, she failed there in February, but she's coming back to a field I think she can be competitive in. And we'll include number 11, Shimmering Aspen. Also successful at this distance in three or four starts. Going to be the favorite. Going to include, but going to root against. Other angle for seven for a long races. Horses that have been on the lead at the top of the stretch and races that are longer. Mile, mile and 16th, mile and an eighth. Two horses fit the bill here. That's going to be number five, Analyze, and number six, You Know Two. They're in the way, just so going six deep in the first leg. Last leg, flip side, two-year-old 16,000 maiden claimer. Thought about singling here with number eight, Marvelous Martha. She ran two decent efforts in between a really clunker. Has the speed figures, and I don't see any first-time starters jumping out at me here to challenge I think she's going to close into it. She's going to be there close. Hopefully she'll win. I also like, also like, both parts of the entry. The two, purring Valentine and 2B flying Phillips, if he gets in. They've both been close without getting a win. I'm not going to give up on them as hopeless uh, two-year-old maidens that are never going to win and always come second. I'm including both parts of that entry if it gets in. Here's the ticket. 50 cent base, late pick five. Going 2, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11 with... 3, 4, 6, with 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, with 8, 10, 11, with 2, 2B if he gets in, in the 8. Good luck in all your wages today. Let's cash a pick 5 ticket.